<laughs> Girls! Tracy, Zelda, take it easy! Slow down! Nicholas, don't play with your ice cream. You're going to... Oh. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Girls, manners! And what do you want to be when you grow up? A ballerina. A cowboy. A ballerina and a cowboy. Alone. Asleep. Grow up. I must have missed that memo. my wife to agree to get a widescreen HD TV. Tell her the extra resolution will allow her to make out the heart-shaped mole on Mel Gibson's butt during the love scene in Braveheart. You're good. Hey, Dad. Hey, Trace. Can I have a snack? Think you can find the kitchen by yourself? I'm kind of busy right now. Whatever. Sometimes that man can be so... Oh, lazy. Wow. Uh, can I have a cupcake? Sure. Can I have five? Sure. Can I take the car and drive down to the liquor store for some cigarettes? Sure. Say, Dad, can I get a bra? Sure. <laughs> All right! And while you're up, bring me one, too. How do I get my wife to appreciate the athleticism of supermodel jello wrestling? <coughs> hmm, stop them. Hmm. Getting a lot of work done, honey? Doing research. <laughs> Zelda go dentist. Face hurt. Poor baby. Would you like a <laughs> cupcake? They're nice and soft. <laughs> what was that? Zelda mad. Daddy ate cupcakes. Bad daddy. Oh, Joe, you didn't. After I stayed up all night, those cupcakes were for Zelda's class. You stayed up all night buying little Judy strawberry cupcakes? I stayed up all night worrying about the fact that I'm not the kind of mother who stays up all night baking cupcakes. Mom, I need to go to the mall. Dad said I could get a bra. You told her she could buy a bra? I didn't say any such thing. You did. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Joe, who's the adult here? You. And? Me. As an adult, I'm fully capable of making my own decisions, so I say no <gasps> bra. Besides, what would you do with one? Dad! Oh, Joe. What? This is a sensitive time in a young girl's development. Her self-esteem is especially fragile. Does that mean I could get a bra? No, absolutely not, and that's final. <laughs> a bra. I'm not old enough to have a daughter who wears a bra. Only minutes ago, Tracy was Nicholas's age. What? Where is Nicholas? <laughs> I love that kid, and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> Don't even think about it, mister. <laughs> Nicholas! Joe, do something! I'm on it. Here, you're gonna need this to wash it down. Joe! Two hands. Oh, just clean up. Bob, out! If anybody wants me, I'll be upstairs drinking from the toilet. Stop eating that. 
I was cleaning up. Now I'm going to have to go to the store again. Liz Larson, <gasps> parenting police. That's another 602. Passing off store bought as homemade. Cuffer. Hello? Nicholas, when I say something, I mean it. It's bad to ignore your mother. It's your mother. Tell her I'm not here. I'm aware of the irony. Hi, Mom. How are you? How are you? I'm really concerned how you're doing, or how are you? I have to say something. The second one. In that case, fine. Thanks for asking. So, what's going on? What's going on? I'm really concerned, or... Ma! I was putting around the attic, and I came across some pictures of you when you were a little girl. I thought my grandchildren would like to see what you looked like when you were their age and actually cared about my health. Gee, that's actually almost sweet of you, Ma. Don't make me blush. If too much blood gets to my face, it means it's not getting to the important organs. I'm not dropping dead from a compliment. I'll try to remember that. So how are my gorgeous grandchildren? Tracy wants a bra. And you told her no, of course. Of course. She's much too young for a bra. Exactly. I didn't let you get a bra until you were old enough to... Be the only girl in gym class without one. If they hadn't made fun of your chest, they would have made fun of something else. Your ears, for example. Now those things stuck out. If you'll excuse me, Mom, I have to go talk to my daughter. Okay, I enjoyed our little chat. Brought back a lot of good memories. Oh, Jack, I will always love you forever and ever. It's no good, doll. You and me, we're different. Too different to do this? <laughs> Tracy, honey, why do you think you need a bra? Because I've been invited to this slumber party, and I'll have to get undressed in front of all the other girls, and then they'll find out that I'm the only one who doesn't wear a bra, and I'll be so embarrassed that I'll hate you forever and the rest of my life! Joe, we're going to the mall first thing in the morning. If you ask me, humans embarrass much too easily. Wow, some bras hook in the front now. That would have made life so much simpler during my formative years. I don't know whether to feel sad or relieved that you didn't know that. I'd go with relieved. I think bras are dumb. They're like muzzles for your bosoms. Zelda, you're such a child. I don't care. You're never going to get me into one of those things. Ooh, bra's pretty. I want a bra. OK, we're out of here. Zelda, Nicholas, let's go throw some quarters into the insatiable <laughs> maw of video entertainment. What a giorno. I am Madame Tatiana. And is this the little darling who's ready for her first trainer bra? Hmm. Yes. She'd like something white, plain, maybe with a rosebud. A black push-up miracle bra with front closure and see-through lace inset. Tracy, you cannot get a miracle bra. You have one. Yeah, I have a lot of things you don't have. A miracle bra, Ooh. pierced ears, <sighs> stretch marks. Ladies, why don't we retire to the dressing room and I will make a little selection for you, yes, no? As long as it's black. This will only take a minute. <laughs> This is what everyone is wearing on the Riviera this year. All oh, these supermodels, Princess Stephanie. I don't know. Britney Spears wore the very same brassiere to the Grammys. Okay. Okay. Okay, as in yes. Oh. Go get your father in town to bring cash. Yay! Perhaps I could interest you in something for yourself, nice pup. Perhaps. But if Britney Spears already wore it, forget it. I, Madame Tatiana, personally guarantee this will revolutionize your marriage. The only bra that could do that is one that picks up the sports channel. Liz, Tracy tells me she found a bra. Dad, you're embarrassing me again. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yes. I'll take it. Huh? 
Tracy, honey, what's wrong? Why are you walking like that? It's her bra. It makes her walk funny. Just wait until you become a pre-woman. I want a bra. I want a bra. You can't have a bra. I'll get you your own remote instead. Want both. Oh, look what you people made me do. What? I just ironed my toast. I think you missed a wrinkle. Joe, I, I, I can't take criticism right now. What's wrong, honey? Oh, it's Gordon. He gets back from the Bahamas today, and rumor has it that he's going on the rampage. I don't want to be downsized. Don't worry, honey. You'll always be the biggest thing in my life. Thanks. Oh, look. Now I have butter on my blouse. One's authentic Italian pizza. How may I help you? Gary, it's Liz. Yeah, I'd like to order for tonight. Liz? You already ordered. Did you forget? You must be stressed. Oh, well, it's just that Gordon's going around firing everyone. On the way to his office this morning, he laid off the parking attendant. I'm afraid it's just a matter of time. Relax, Liz. You're the top performer. Gordon will never fire you. Thanks, Gary. I hope you're right. I don't care if you don't work for me. You're fired anyway. I think he just fired the FedEx guy. I better go. You fired. You fired. You Hmm. What do you think, Val? It's not up to me, dear. You decide. That voice. That voice. Oh, I know that voice. Nice desk, though. Oh, you are so fired. <laughs> You'll never marry a rich man dressed like that. I'm not here to marry a rich man. I just wanted the camaraderie of a group of caring and, and sensitive women. <laughs> You're in. Huh? Liz Wilder? Val Hockaday? Oh, mwah, mwah. It's so good to see you. And it's Liz Larson. I, I'm, I'm married. That's darling. Would you like to meet my husband? Gordon? Gordon! Gordon? Gordon, this is Liz. I know Liz. Vegetable cracker Liz. You're fired! Huh? Nonsense. She's my friend, and I don't want you firing her. All right, Bumpkin, if you say so. Oh, well, there's no need to hide. I can see your feet sticking out under that desk. You're fired. <laughs> Thanks. It was my pleasure. By the way, what are you doing this Saturday? Cleaning my house, raising my family, making sure my son, the forks, and the electrical sockets stay far away from each other. <laughs> You're just as amusing as ever. You really must tear yourself away from your quaint little hobbies and come to my slumber party. Uh, Val, did you say slumber party or did I just have a flashback? Oh, silly. It's a slumber party for little You're Allison. Fired. Gordon's daughter by his first marriage to she whose name must never be mentioned in this house again. I see. It's the nanny's night off and you have, uh, parenting skills. So I thought you could come and help out. Think what fun we'll have. It'll be just like when we were Kappas together. Except now, of course, you work for my husband. You're fired. <laughs> Honey, what's wrong? You didn't finish your dessert. I wore my new bra to school today and no one even noticed. Ah, oh, honey, when people change, sometimes it takes a while for other people to catch on. Allison Benjamin's slumber party is this weekend! Allison Benjamin? Guess what? I'm gonna be at the same party! Won't that be fun? <gasps> no! Guess not. <laughs> Obviously, if you're 10 years old, having your mother at the same party is social suicide. And if you're 38 years old, not appeasing your boss's brand new wife is career suicide. Mm. Oh, I know, I should have put my daughter's happiness ahead of disappointing Val. Joe, Joe, I need you to weigh in on this. Mm. I support whatever decision you make. Scratch that. And now, the amazing Liz Larson. See how she balances the daily demands of family and career. How will she handle her latest challenge, the slumber party? Mom, can I sleep with you? Huh? I had a nightmare. Oh. Oh, you're not alone, Cookie.
Tails, you're fired. But don't look at me, you called it. Why not do the mature thing? Just explain to Val that you can't help with a slumber party because you value your relationship with your daughter more than your job. And she'll accept that? No, but at least when you're fired, you have the satisfaction of knowing that you've done a mature thing. So this is what it comes down to. A moral victory and homelessness. Well, I hear it's going to be a mild spring. No problem, right? Right. Val, Liz, Liz Larson, uh, about the party. You want me there early to assemble the gift bags? I I'm sorry, Val. I, 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 I can't help out because, um, because, because I have head lice. Bad case. Oh, I may have to shave my head and have a couple of layers of skin removed just to be safe. Anyway, sorry. <sighs> oh, no way Val bought the life story. I'm, I'm gonna be fired. Nobody's getting fired. You're way too valuable to the company. Besides, it's the weekend. You're, you're saying I'm gonna be fired on Monday? Honey, you're all wound up. Why don't I put the kids to bed early? We can have a slumber party of our own, hmm? Make it a special evening? How special? Remember that time back in college in my roommate's Camaro? It'll be like that, only without the gear shift. Ooh, but the gear shift was my favorite part. <laughs> the kids are down for the count, and I'm up for whatever. Wait, I'm going to try out my secret weapon. Hurry back. <laughs> no, 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 no! What's wrong? This. Well, it's not doing anything for me right now, but maybe if I saw you in it. If I have Tracy's bra, that means that Tracy must have... Your bra. Is that bad? How bad? Oh, bad. And this is the Saucy Boys poster I got when my dad took me backstage at the concert. He knows the promoter. See? They all signed it to me. Personally. I love them. I have their CD. Wow. Did you actually buy it? Or just download a bootleg? <laughs> My mom bought it for me. Her mom works for my dad. You know, Trace, with the right hair and makeup, you'd almost be a babe. Let's put on our PJs. Then maybe we all could give Tracy a makeover. I hope no one's tired. This could take all night. <gasps> wow, that bra rules. Where'd you get it? I want to try it on. No, let me. No, me. Out of the way, girls. I'm the hostess. It's just a bra. How provocative can it be? Oh, you didn't see it. I know. What if Val sees it? What, what kind of mother is she going to think I am? You're a way better mother than she'll ever be. At least you don't have to ask the nanny what your daughter's name is. If she puts on that bra at the slumber party, it'll be tramp. Oh, well, maybe if you go over to the Benjamins right now, you might be able to switch bras with Tracy before anyone notices. I can't go. I promised Tracy I wouldn't. And besides, I told Val I have lice. Oh, she probably wasn't listening when you told her. I love you and I barely listen. Oh, I never should have let Tracy go to that slumber party. She's growing up too fast. Today it's a bra. What's it going to be tomorrow? And how many... Piercings did you get? Six. That you can see. Huh? I've got to do something, but I don't know what. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Answer the door. Look, Mommy. <laughs> Bob's got a bra. Bob's got a bra. It looks good, Cookie. Sometimes I wish I were a cat. Cat would never let him get away with this stuff. Liz Larson, I want you to know that I hold you fully responsible. I can't believe that you would subject innocent children to such a tawdry, immoral display. How dare you send your little girl to my home wearing that... that thing! Tracy is not a little girl. 
She's developing into a young lady. And what she wears or doesn't wear is my business, not yours. If you want to raise someone's child, try your own. Huh. Sorry I ruined your slumber party. You really got my stepmom steamed. Excellent. Allison, come here this instant. I don't want you catching lice on the nanny's night off. Thanks for standing up for me, Mom. Did you really mean that? About me not being a little girl anymore? Yes, I did. You're old enough to wear a bra. <laughs> Thank you. And you're old enough to be grounded for two weeks for stealing my underwear. By the way, give it back. Mom, you aren't actually going to wear that, are you? Not for long. Boy, are you in trouble. Told you bras were bad news. Shows how much you know. Now every girl at the slumber party wants one like mine. You mean like mom's. Want to play dolls? Okay. I'm thinking of shaving my head. Cool. Why don't you hop on my motorcycle and we'll go to Hawaii. <laughs> if I were their parents, I'd nap through puberty.